Hey guys, so here's what to do if your spring breaks on your on your drill press, your return spring. What I did was I just took this off and uh, heated it up with my torch here and bent it back in. And now I'm going to try to temper that a little bit and uh, hope that it works because the spring was uh, broken and I'm not sure where I can get another one for this drill press so I'm going to try this out and we'll see if it works. Okay so I did my best to temper this up to blew it up after uh, when I first bent it it was quite orange so I just used the end of the flame for this to try to temper it. I don't know if it'll work or not. It's a nice, pretty nice blue color, so I'm going to put this back on. Next thing you got to do is you got to adjust this. So, and we'll see if it breaks. See how that is. That looks pretty good. So. We'll tighten that up and we'll see how long it lasts, but uh, we might be able to go one more. I just don't want to break it. Maybe we'll try one more. Let's see how that is. Not quite. Of course, if the spring is still brittle, the more times I try this, the more chances are I'm going to break it. We'll see how this one is. I'd say that's got it. got it so I just got to lock that nut on and uh, we're good to go. Drill press fix. That's how you do it. Catch you later.